let's let's turn to Mr. Mohammed at this stage. Could you uh, do you think, as he has alluded to, the recent political events may rub off on the APC, thereby causing you to lose the perhaps the political mileage you may have garnered over time? Uh, let me start by saying that um, it is very, very unfortunate and sad that um, I could um, hear someone say our president lied, he misled. I think these are words that are first unprofessional, completely, completely out of place to really address the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as one who lied. That, this, that to me, I think is very, very unprofessional and should not be tolerated. But for me, I would go back to, as I always say, this is the way of the PDP. We keep on talking that, 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 this. The issues are on ground, and that is what the APC sticks to. That's what the APC works to implement. So going back to your question, uh, I would say all these things that are going on for us, it is, like I said, something that has to do with the people. The people are the ones who will decide. The people still love the APC. The people still are in tune with the APC. The APC is really the voice of the masses. That is why, let me give an example. There's somebody who is going to be giving a national honor. National honor for what? He's an old, uh, an old man in a village who did what? The one who harbored uh, during one crisis, kept about 300 people, a Muslim, who kept about 300 Christians. That is the way you honor. You see what I'm talking about? The, the masses are being motivated. What we had in the PDP when it comes to national honors for us was every serving government member. If you keep saying the people love the, the APC, are the people happy with the killings going on in Zamfara, in Benue, in Taraba, in Adamawa? Are they happy with all of those? The people, the people of Nigeria are not happy. The people of the APC, nobody is happy about it. Completely not. But what is paramount and what is interesting here is government. You have a government that is sincere, that is really honestly working to end it. At any point in time, government is just of recent, government has deployed a mass, mass of over a thousand in terms of uh, uh, the armed forces, ground troops, or just to go and try and fix this problem. Government has said it not time without number that what is paramount is to secure this country. This is a new threat. We have done it before. Government came into power. This government came in and, and really saw Boko Haram reduced, really reduced to, to, to a level now that they're no more a threat, apart from uh, bombings here and there. And they will do the same thing. This is a different type of war we're facing. I call it war. I'm not like a security person, but to me I call it war because of, if you say people are trooping into Nigeria, doing certain things and running out. And th these are things happening at the local level. But government is working on it. That is the most important thing. That is the most important thing. And at the end of the day, we have somebody today who is one of the most sincere people that we know in this country. And he has assured us, we are very confident, we will continue to vote. This would, 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 would come to an end. Nobody likes these killings, and these killings will stop. Okay. Uh, by, Dr. The, by the grace of Dr. God. Dr. Nanaju, the, let me take this back to you again. Now, you have this politicians that are returning, as you said, returning to their home in the PDP. Wouldn't that be painting a bad picture for those who have remained faithful to the PDP all this while, now putting out a red carpet for those who are returning home, as you say? In every community, everybody will not see events from the same perspective. There were those who made some demand upon our party. Our party that time uh, had some challenges. And yes, they left because they had some rhetorics from some people who turned out to be lying, that they were building a machine for change, a machine for inclusion, a machine that would do things differently. And I repeat it again for emphasis. President Buhari, during that period, lied about his age, lied about his readiness to lead, lied also about his embrace as a Democrat. We have seen it. When he came in, he was in England for more than 100 days because he was ill. And being an old man, we found that he was unfit to rule. He also lied that he embraced Nigeria. But what happened? What has he changed has in the PDP that is different from what was? to England to lie to us that it is Libyans. They are not Libyans. He the told us in America about that the your people party. Carry, uh, What has changed in your party between then and now that should make anybody look at it in a different way? My party has learned 
from our previous mistakes. My party has learned to correct itself and imbibe and embrace internal democracy, damage impunity, and of course, remove imposition. So what we're going to show Nigerians now is that we've learned from our... Well, you've, you say you, your party has learned, but you're doing the same thing where the old hands are left are coming back and they're apparently given a red carpet treatment for coming back home while those who have stayed to take care of the house are put in the background. Isn't that what the picture is? No, that's not the picture. Our party today is like a church. And don't forget, you call it red carpet treatment, but the church is for sinners so that they can come back and they'll be reformed. So we do not have such issues about saying you cannot come back or you only, no, no, no. Any child like Absalom, who has gone away and wishes to return back home to his father, should and will always be welcome. Before we so let you go, the plan, to, the plan by the PDP to change its name, how's that going? Well, that's a suggestion. I cannot tell you how is it. It is a suggestion to the stakeholders. Whatever they come up with is left to them. But as a member, I simply pray that whatever we come to should be collectively arrived at. Mr. Kachon, on a Jew, member of the PDP and Salisu Mohammed, member of the APC. Gentlemen, thank you for talking to us today on the program. We will be back in a moment. I turn my attention to a similar matter. Don't go away.